As the number of cases here in Georgia increases, there's growing confusion about how to get tested for monkeypox. One man tells Fox 5 he was turned away from area hospitals before he ultimately found a testing option in Fayetteville. Fox 5's Alex Whitler joins us from the live desk. And Alex, you talked with the State Department of Public Health about the best way people can go about getting tested. Yeah, Courtney, the Georgia Department of Public Health says you can't get tested unless you have lesions somewhere on your body. Any healthcare provider can do it. They just have to have the right resources. They'll swab your sores, and that will determine if you have monkeypox or not. I'm sorry. I just... It just kind of makes me feel really... Really sad. Brian Johnson says he's had a stressful week. He noticed he was fatigued and had painful scars on his body Sunday, July 31st. He says he went to urgent care in Piedmont Hospital to get tested for monkeypox the next day, but was turned away. I asked her and she's like, oh, honey, we don't do that here. Ultimately, Johnson found testing at the Fayette County Health Department, a test that came back positive. As of Monday night, he says he has painful, itchy sores all over his body. He's using ointments to help, but doctors say the only cure is to self-isolate for two to four weeks and wait for the lesions to clear. The chief medical officer for the Georgia Department of Public Health says all area hospitals and health care providers can test for monkeypox. He also notes there has been confusion about testing, both from patients and health care providers. Patients are not always familiar with uh, where they where testing potentially may be offered. Um, health care providers may also have questions, too, about um, how to do testing. Um, or where to send it. This is something that this is something that any healthcare provider can uh, can test for. Um, they just need to be able to use the information available to be able to get that information, um, so they can actually perform the testing and submit the specimens to where they need to uh, send them. Now, I did reach out to Piedmont Hospital asking whether they provide testing or not, and they did not respond. As soon as they do, we'll be sure to update you. Coming up on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, we'll tell you about a new medication the state health department says patients can seek out and what to be weary of should you choose to use it. At the live desk, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. All right. Alex, thanks very much.